This is a part two of uh, module six, enrollment of devices. In this part, we will be covering Windows 10 enrollment. From an end user enrollment perspective, we can enroll devices during or post UB. To enroll devices during the UB process, we can either do a standard Azure AD join or using Windows Autopilot. The main benefit to use a Windows Autopilot is so that we can control whether the user who's driving the UBI process is going to be a local administrator or not. And with Windows Autopilot, we can also customize the UBI experience to make it more user-friendly. If we decide to enroll devices post UBI, we can either use Windows settings or the application company portal, which you can download from uh, the Microsoft Store. Then we have a bulk enrollment. From a bulk enrollment perspective, we have two main options for Windows devices. One is to use a provisioning package, and the other one is to use a Windows Autopilot, specifically a profile of Windows Autopilot, which is called Autopilot Self-Deploying Mode. So provisioning packages are special files that can be deployed to Windows devices. These files can contain different settings and multitude of configurations. And one of these settings can instruct the devices to perform the Azure AD join. To do this Azure AD join process, the devices will use a special account, which is often referred as a bulk token. Once the device joins Azure AD, it will automatically enroll in Intune. To create a provisioning package, we can either use a setup school PCs or Windows Configuration Designer both of which are applications that you can download from the Microsoft Store. Since it's very easy to deploy devices using bulk enrollment using a provisioning package, we will focus on that methodology in this course. With Setup School PCs, or sometimes we call it SAS PC, we can quickly set up many devices using a provisioning package. As I mentioned before, uh, SAS PC is an application that you can download from the store. And once you open it, we have a very simple wizard, which consists of uh, three main steps. In step number one, we define the settings and applications that we want on our devices. Then we save those settings in a USB stick. And then simply we turn on the devices that should be in the UBI screen and then we plug the USB stick in. When using Setup School PCs, the devices will be joined to Azure IT Directory and automatically enrolled in Intune, and there are many settings that Setup School PCs will configure for you. The idea is that we want to optimize those devices for shared use scenarios. You can further customize those settings and add applications to the package, or you can opt to push them via Intune once the device gets enrolled. It's really a matter of preference. There may be some settings that you really want to have on the provisioning package so that the devices are configured with those settings right away instead of waiting for Intune to send those settings. An example could be the preferred tenant. So it's demo time now. In this demo, we will install Setup School PCs on a technician device and then we will create a provisioning package. Then we'll take that provisioning package uh, that will be saved on a USB stick. We will turn on a device in UBI and we will go over the enrollment process using the USB stick. At the end, we will sign in for the first time with the Allison and we will verify that the device is correctly enrolled in Intune and some settings are already applied from Intune. We are on the technician computer and we're gonna open the Microsoft Store. Here we can search for setup school PCs. We can type set space up and we select setup school PCs and get. Once it's installed, let's open it. And here is uh, the wizard that I mentioned during the presentation. Let's select Get Started. Here we name our package. This is also the name 
of the bulk token that will be created in Azure Active Directory. Then we have to sign in. You will also notice uh, this uh, screen. We already saw this screen during the previous demo when we saw Alison on her BYOD device signing into Office. In this case, I don't want to enroll the technician machine into Intune, so I'm gonna select no, sign into this app only. Let's start our wizard by selecting next. And uh, we will start by adding a Wi-Fi connection to this package. So our devices will automatically join the Wi-Fi network when I plug in the USB stick. Then we specify a device naming standard. In this case, I do a prefix of LM for elementary school and a dash. Setup School PCs will automatically append a dash and the serial number of the device to the name. So in my case, our, my devices will have the prefix LM dash dash and then serial number. Then I select the OS version that I intend to deploy to my devices. Now I have different options here. I can allow local storage or prevent local storage. And then I have different optimizations that I can configure. For example, if uh, I don't want, if I don't plan to use this device as a shared device, I can select optimize device for a single student. If I want to configure the preferred Azure Active Directory tenant, I can do so in here. And potentially I could also remove any pre-installed applications that are coming from uh, the OEM. That option, although, may add a significant time to the provisioning process. To facilitate the first sign-in, I'm going to add our tenant so that our students can sign in with their username instead of the full user principal name. I could add a time zone, product keys, potentially configuring take a test. These are all settings that I can always push from Intune. So I tend to do all the configurations from Intune. The same goes with applications. If I want to include some applications in the package so that I don't have to wait for those applications to come from Intune, I can do so in here. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of personalization with the desktop background and the lock screen so that uh, I create a more familiar environment for my students. And once I'm happy with my configuration, I can select accept. I'm gonna insert the USB stick and uh, the package will be saved in there. Potentially, I can provision multiple USB sticks. Once I am done, I select next. Next again, and I'm done. Now, if we look at the content of the USB stick, we have uh, two files. We have uh, one file, which is a catalog file. And then we have uh, the main package that has an extension of PPKG. And the package is named after the bulk token that we created in the wizard. Note that we also have an expiration date. Packages are valid for six months. Now let's swap over to our device, which is in Ubi, and let's see what is uh, the technician experience when provisioning these devices. The device again is turned on for the very first time as it comes from uh, the manufacturer or maybe after you re-image the device itself. Now that Ubi is ready, let's uh, simply plug in the USB stick to the device and the device will parse the content of the PPKG that is stored in the root of the drive. And here you can see the different settings that are configured in the provisioning package, one of which is uh, the Azure AD join. Since we also configured 
the package to perform a device rename, the device will be renamed first, and after the reboot, it will reconnect to the Wi-Fi, join Azure Active Directory, and finally, it will enroll in Intune. Within a couple of minutes, our device is ready for our end users to sign in. In this case, I'm going to sign in with uh, our special user, Allison. Note that we also configured the preferred tenant, so Allison doesn't have to specify the entire UPN. After the profile is created, then we can start using our device. Note that the settings and applications that are configured via Intune are starting to be applied to the device in the background. So it may take a few minutes for the device to be fully configured, depending on number of settings and applications that you have configured in Intune. To verify that the device is correctly enrolled in Intune, let's open the Windows Settings app and let's select Accounts. If we select Access Worker School Account, we have an indication that the device is Azure AD joined. If we select that icon, we also have the Info button. Whenever you see the Info button, it means that Windows is managed by Intune. If we select the Info, then we have a detail of all the different settings and applications that are applied via Intune. Now let's take a look at uh, Intune for Education and verify that the device shows up also in the Intune for Education portal. For that, let's navigate under Devices. And as you can see, we have our device, LM dash dash serial number. From here, we can look at the properties of the device. We can also verify any recent check-ins that the device performed against the tenant. We can also see the last users who signed in in the dropdown and the different settings that were applied. We will further discuss device details, settings, and reporting in module 7. So this concludes our demo. In part 3, we will cover the enrollment of iOS and iPadOS devices.